Hello, hello, hello. This is the air castle in the land of make-believe. And all the children everywhere can hear us because we have a magic wire which goes to the radio. We are very happy to be in the tower room of the air castle, which is in our very topmost tower, because through its great windows we see so many beautiful things in the land of make-believe and in the land of every day. It is here we meet clickety clack the happy little, funny little wooden man, only one foot high, and all of the other happy and jolly little members of the Air Castle family. While we're waiting for them to arrive, we might sing a little song, and it might please you to hear the song about the dreamboat, which a little bit later in the evening you will be sailing away in. And then you will see very beautiful things. <laughs> about the dreamboat on which we sail so many times, and it carries us into beautiful, beautiful places along a silvery stream. And sometimes, for strange reasons, it takes us into places not so pleasant, and that has been a mystery for a long, long time. We hope someday President Pip, with all of his cleverness, will be able to tell us why we have dreams like that and why we can't always have happy, beautiful dreams. There may be a way to dream that way, and I think when President Pip comes upstairs, we'll just have to ask him. 
Here comes Lickety Slack. Little wooden man, one foot high, up the winding stairway. Hello, Bugler Murphy and Clickety Clack. Oh, they are splendidly dressed today. Ah, they're in white uniforms. Looks like white satin. White satin uniforms with gold braid, beautiful white helmets with a bright sparkling plume in the very top. And they're very, very happy indeed. Clickety Clack is marching across the floor as proud of himself as he can be. And one thing we might remember, or we might observe, their hands are just as clean, and so are their faces. And my, they're just splendid, we think. They're getting so they take so much pride with how they, with the way they look, that, uh, well, President Pip, no doubt, is very proud of them, too. <coughs> oh, hello, Bapo. What about you? <coughs> oh, Bapo, where have you been? <coughs> You've been out in the yard again, haven't you? Playing? <laughs> Standing on your head. <laughs> You'd like to get dirty. <laughs> oh, Bobo. What will Bugler Murphy and Clickety Clack think of you when you say a thing like that? <laughs> Did you hear that, Bobo? <laughs> Oh, you're going to wash your hands, too, now? <laughs> but you had to have some fun. <laughs> oh, I know, Bubble, of course. Your hands are bound to get dirty sometimes. But then, you know, they can always be washed clean, can't they? <laughs> Here comes President Pip now. Bugle Matty, what about the salute? And perhaps you'd better not forget the new bugle. President Pip prefers that. Hello, President Pip. Well, how do you do? Huh? Well, goodness me. Can I believe my eyes? Oh, yes, indeed, President Pip. It's quite true. Quickity quack and bugle Murphy look so clean and spick and span. Goodness me, goodness me. I'll just have to dash downstairs and, and stamp out another medal for them. Oh, are you going to give them a medal for being clean? Well, on the other hand, maybe not. I'll wait. They ought to, they ought to be clean that way anyway, whether... Oh, why give a person a medal for being clean? It's just like giving the person a medal for being honest. You're supposed to be that at the start. There's something beside... Something extraordinary. Well, anyway, I want to pat you on the back. Look at it, Clack. You're a fine little wooden man. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to pat you so hard. I nearly knocked a little wooden man down. Yes, President Pip is very proud of you, just as I thought. Well, young man, what about you? <laughs> Yes. Haven't you something else to do yet? <laughs> well, what else have you to do now? <laughs> Play some more. <laughs> well, why don't you make a fresh start and, uh, and wash your hands nice and clean before you go start again? <laughs> Want to get dirty again? <laughs> well, what shall we do, Skyman? Oh, well, let's let him play again, then. Let's let him play again this time. If he won't forget to uh, wash his hands nice and clean when he comes back in again. Will you forget, Bapo? <laughs> All right, then we'll forget about it. Well, you see, he's young and, and happy and everything, and we don't want to make him unhappy just because uh, you can't stand at attention and, and on display every second, you know, when you're active and young. I know that, even if I'm a hundred, I didn't forget that. But, of course, it looks nice, you know, to... Be slicked up. Well, what am I lecturing about? Here I am lecturing and lecturing, and I promised that I wasn't going to do much of that. Well, President Pip, I see that you still have your uh, coveralls on. Have you been working hard? Yes, I've been perfecting in my new invention, and it's just a moment I'll flip this off because we're going to take a trip. We're going to take a trip? We certainly are, and what a trip we're going to take. Where are we going? Well, believe it or not, we're going to the planet of Mars. To the planet of Mars? Oh, in the sky. 
Well, certainly you know, I didn't think you didn't think I had it uh, on ice down in the basement, did you? <laughs> President Pitt, no, of course. Look at the clock and hardly wait until we get started. And I'm sure Happy Duck would like to go. Where is Happy Duck? Happy Duck. What, what, what? Plenty, plenty. Come on upstairs. Oh, don't come clear upstairs. We're going down to my workshop now anyway. Come on, sorry, man. All right, President Pip. How are we going? Well, in my new rocket. Just like the moon rocket, only more powerful and bigger and better and more beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful, President Pip. Excuse me. Mm. Oh, here's Mr. Ron. How would you like to go to Mars? Mars? Hmm, where? In the sky, in the sky. It's a big planet up there in the sky. We're going out there and see, uh, see if we can't find something that I need very much for another one of my inventions. Oh, fly a bird? No, you have to shoot like a skyrocket this time. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle come to town. Oh, bad. Oh, not like that. I don't mean we're not going to tie you on a little sky rocket like the 4th of July. Goodness me. A big one. Come on inside. I'll show you what it is. You can decide whether or not you want to go. Oh, President Pip, this is marvelous. It's much larger than the, than the moon rocket, isn't it? Why, it has to be. It's about twice the size, about twice the size of the moon rocket. And you'll be surprised what we will find on Mars. Well, at least I expect to be surprised. I don't know how about the rest of you. Oh, I'm sure we'll be surprised, President Pip, if you are. <laughs> Look at clock and Bugler Murphy are very, very happy to think they can go. So was Happy Duck. <laughs> well, all right, we better get started. Goodness me. We have to... Come on, get in. Mr. Rod, do you want to go? Moon, go to moon, moon, star, shine. Yes, come on, get inside. You see, I have to turn this dial. I have seats in here for everybody. Come on in. Come on in, sorry, man. Come on in, Mr. Rob. We're all going in here. Oh, oh, black and dark. Cannot to see, can see. Oh, I'll turn on the light. There. Oh, better. Oh, nice here. Well, all right. Now we'll close the door. It's too late for anybody to back up. We're on our way. All right, I'll turn the switch, and away we go. It'll set off the charge of, you know, this one's by a sneeze motor. Red pepper. Oh, yes, President Pip. I remember you told me about it. A little bit of it in the air here. All right, here we go. All right. Now, everybody hang on tight because we're on our way to Mars. We're going faster than 900,067 miles an hour. Oh, that's too fast, President Pip. on the right planet. Where are we? Oh, we're upside down, story man. How can we get out? The door is at the top and we're upside down. Oh, President Pip, where's Happy Duck and Clickety Clack and all the rest? Oh, they're standing on their heads just like we are. Scramble, scramble. Come on, we'll have to get out of here and if the children will listen again, they'll see how we come out of this. Goodbye, children. Be good and you'll be happy.